Good morning, everybody. We'll start this Thursday morning forecast with an upgraded uh, piece of information you may find very useful. We had a fire weather watch across our northern counties earlier this morning. That has since been canceled, and now we've been upgraded across the entire area to a red flag warning. Now, what is that? Well, first of all, it's in effect until 8 p.m. We have a very dry air mass out there, very low relative humidities. So there's not a lot of moisture in the air right now, and temperatures are going to be climbing into the mid to upper 80s today. So all of that combined, and we've, of course, we're in a severe drought. We have uh, very uh, dry conditions with the vegetation and the brush out there, so that's creating critical fire conditions. So be very careful burning. My advice is to not burn at all. Try to put that by the wayside and do that another time. We've got more information if you go to fox17online.com or on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts as well. There's no precipitation over our area right now, but off to the west here, uh, just to the north and west of Milwaukee, you can see there are some showers and some thunderstorms out there. I think we'll see some of the residual clouds from these. It's not impossible that one of these hold together long enough to see something, but I think the real show was going to be further off to the north and west, and we'll get going as we get into tonight and then through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. That's going to be the best chance of a cluster of storms forming out here and then bending in and moving in our way. They should be in a weakening phase by the time they move across Lake Michigan through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. I can't rule out a couple of strong storms during that time frame, maybe even a marginally severe storm with some marginally sized hail and some wind gusts. That possibility is there, but the best threat for severe weather is not in our area. It's to the west and then tomorrow it shifts to the south and east. I'll show you that here momentarily. It's 73 in Big Rapids, 71 in White Cloud right now. Our our central counties 74 generally the low to mid 70s around the area and it's a very dry air mass so it certainly is comfortable out there but the problem is that's what's driving this red flag warning the fire hazard as well we're in the mid 70s across our south central counties and along and south of the i-94 corridor as well so if nothing else it's comfortable we do have low relative humidities by michigan standards in june when they're 25 to 35 percent relative humidity that's very low by Michigan standards. Now, if you were to go to the desert southwest, places like Arizona would say that's moist. They're typically about 10 or 15 percent, but this is what's driving that red flag warning and the um, high critical fire uh, danger that we have out there. Today, we're mostly sunny to partly cloudy with some high, thin, cirrus clouds out there. Those will gradually thicken and lower through the afternoon hours. A bit warmer today than it was yesterday. Mid 80s with a south southwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's what it looks like on future track as we go through the day. This model does keep us dry, but watch what happens as we go through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. That cluster of some showers and thunderstorms moving through the area. I'm hopeful that we all get in on some of that because we really do need that. This cold front is going to sag in here as we go through the day on Friday, but that will be a focal point for some shower and thunderstorm activity, certainly through the first part of the day. And then later in the day, they may fire further off to the south and east of Grand Rapids. And then there's still some upper level energy along that front and just behind it that late Friday night into Saturday morning, we could see a few showers or storms from Grand Rapids, especially to the north. That possibility will be there, but most of Saturday will be fine as high pressure builds back in here and that high pressure will be in control for Sunday and Fa Father's Day is uh, on Sunday and so is the arrival of summer. We call that the summer solstice. So the weekend for the most part looks pretty good and the temperatures are going to be fairly mild as well. All right, here's the severe weather outlook for the remainder of today, but for our intensive purposes here, we're more concerned about it for the overnight period. Now they have taken this area and they moved a little more into the Grand Rapids metro area and along and uh, west uh, and north and south of the I-90 or the uh, 131 corridor. That's the lowest risk. That's a marginal threat. But for really today and tonight, the best threat for severe weather is going to be outside of our area well to the west. And then for tomorrow, that shifts down to the south and east of our area. So you can see we're in that transitionary zone. It's not a for sure thing that we're going to see severe weather, but the chance, a chance is there of some strong to maybe marginally severe storms during that time frame we just mentioned. As we look at our Fox 17 planner, then we're 86 degrees today, dry during the daytime hours, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and a very dry air mass. It's not humid. We start to ramp up that humidity and that dew point temperature and add a lot of moisture to the atmosphere on Friday. You're going to feel more humid conditions with temperatures around 87 degrees, maybe a block of some showers and thunderstorms during the first part of Friday, and then they may redevelop south and east of Grand Rapids by the time we get into later in the day. And then Friday night into Saturday, there could be a few more with that second little wave of energy coming through. Otherwise, most of Saturday looks dry. Temperatures around 82 degrees. Sunday is Father's Day. It's the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. More than 15 hours of daylight. 
87 degrees. It looks dry there, but Sunday evening, Sunday night, we could see some showers and storms coming in. That goes into early Monday, and then look at the temperatures for Tuesday and Wednesday. Only 70 and 75 degrees, respectively. Normally, Lauren, we'd be at about 80 degrees for this time of the year. That's the average high.